Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game for Scratch. And about a week back, Unity launched their Unity uh, Asset Store X Mega Bundles. This was to celebrate their 10th anniversary. And if I'm completely honest, the deal was kind of okay. Now, actually, in all honesty, it's a really good deal if there's something in that bundle you want. But in terms of bundles themselves, there's nothing here that really, really stands out as just an absolute have to have. There's a couple of really cool assets in here, but nothing really game changer except one. And that is this guy right here, Script 3 Inspector. Actually, I mentioned that Script Inspector 3. Uh, and this one makes the entire bundle at $39 worthwhile, 36 And then basically, you just look at everything else here as free. So what we're going to do right now is jump in and take a look at Script Inspector 3. While we're at it, we'll also quickly demonstrate uh, Sui Mono and also, say, the top-down assets, just so you can get an idea of what a couple of the other assets in this bundle are all about. You can see here, you've got 16 days left to pick up this bundle if you are on the fence. But again, the star of the show, the thing that really stood out for me, and the thing that made me go, Unity, why don't you have this feature already? It, it blows my mind, actually, that this already isn't built into Unity. And as you're going to see, it, it's really kind of a game changer, at least if you've got my use case, where you do lots of small edits. So you don't necessarily all you want to open up Visual Studio. So without further ado, let us jump in. We're going to take a look at Script Inspector 3, one of the assets in the Mega Bundle, and by far and away, my favorite asset. In order to do that, we'll showcase a couple of other assets as well. So let's start things off. We're going to show that Sui Mono asset the water builder uh, here so I've already installed everything I'll show you how to do the installation later on but all you got to do to get Sui Mono working this is a water um, engine here just go on into it once you've installed it and grab the prefab drop the prefab into your scene like I just did and then drop this guy right here this is the surface drop those in and you have water there's only a couple more things to set up here so you're gonna want in the module um, over here you got a couple of settings for it you can drop your scene light in as the major light and you can manually specify the camera and drop your camera in. So there you go. You now have water in your scene. It's really that easy to add in, which is kind of impressive. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at our camera here. Uh, we'll uh, rotate that guy down a little bit. All right. So there we go. So now we're looking down at the water and your water is good to go. It's even got some audio attached to it. I think I have audio turned off for this recording. Uh, here you can see water. It's really that simple to add water to your game using Sui Mono. So that's one of the things that's also in this bundle. Another thing I'm going to showcase here is let's go ahead and just create a simple, uh, yeah, we'll do a cube. All right, so we got a cube in our world. Uh, let's make that guy say 10 by 10. Oops, wrong 10 by 10. All right, there we go. So we got a cube in our world for our water to, to uh, lap off of. Let's just drop that down a little bit so we got it in the world. Uh, and another aspect of this that we've got here is the top-down pack, a set of assets for building top-down games. So if you want, you drop in things like buildings. Now what you're going to notice, if you actually look at this asset, it is one-sided to keep the polygon count down. But if you're making a top-down or three-quarter view game, that is what these assets are all about. So you do things, you got prefab like this, drop that on your island like so. And then we got a couple of other things here. So we could go ahead, we can add a light into the world. Let's wrap a fence around here. So we could go ahead and just, you know, start basically, uh, ooh, that's the wrong one. Uh, we can just basically start populating our world like so. Let's just bring that guy over. All right, so this doesn't really have a whole lot to do with what I'm gonna showcase, but I do appreciate it. So let's just duplicate and that fence down there. One more like so. So this is just a collection of top-down style assets. We got a couple of buildings to work with. Uh, we have a demo level. You can actually check things out in whole. We got some nature stuff. So like we got things like trees, shrooms, other shrooms. This person really likes their shrooms. So you got a whole bunch of assets that you can start populating your world in. Uh, pretty easy and straightforward. Then on top of that, we've got rocks. Uh, we got a couple pre-made particle systems for us. So if we want to have a uh, light shaft coming down on our world, for example, we can have it come down like so. Uh, stamps, and then we've got uh, ruins and such that we can work with. So we put a little bit of a ruined wall there. All right, we got a beautiful level going on here, except for I think I just obscured my camera <laughs> in a huge way. So let's just go ahead, grab our camera. Uh, let's just kind of, yeah, let's move you over and around. All right, so there you can see some of the things you can do with this asset pack. It's some pretty sweet stuff on the whole. So now I've got my camera in the world. Uh, there we see, let's go take a look at the game. Looks pretty good. Now I wanna go ahead and add a mouse look script to this guy, for example. You know how to do this right now. A lot of times what you would have to do at this point 
is load up, uh, you create a new script, edit in Visual Studio, which is really, really kind of irritating. So what I'm going to do instead is use Script Explorer. So I told you, I told you, I'd tell you how to install these things. You see your scripting, um, Chris, script, sorry, not Explorer, Inspector. It's already installed, but if you want to go ahead and grab it, go into the package manager. It's true for all of these things. For example, type the word script, grab script inspector, do a uh, so once it is selected here, do a download. I've already downloaded it, so it's grayed out. And then once you've got it downloaded once for any new project you want to bring it into, simply do an import. As you can see, it is like two megabytes in size. So every new project I will be doing, I will be grabbing this one and I will grab a peak, peak that I covered in a previous thing. So here you got uh, Tsunami Water. We got the top down assets pack being demonstrated. So now let's show you uh, the new scripting functionality that I've already added into the game. So what I'm going to do, I got my camera. I want to add a new script to it. So we're going to head add a new script. Uh, we'll call this, um, uh, what did it get called? I'm actually, I'm straight out stealing the script off the internet. Fly camera. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab this code, and then we're going to go back here. So we're going to add a new script, call it fly control, like so. I don't know why it just made our world go black, but okay. Uh, so now we've got this script attached to ourselves right here, and you can see here. There is the script. You go ahead and edit it. And this is what is new. This is Script Inspector 3. And it is a completely dockable tab. So you can throw it anywhere in the world as you wish. You can maximize it, leave it as it is on its own. And what you can now do is code directly inside of Unity. So again, if I'd rather have it as a docked window, uh, we can dock this guy in place. All right, come on. Move it here. Grab this guy. Let's dock it into our main window area. So if you want to start doing scripting in line, you can also have done it right here directly in the inspector, which is pretty cool on the whole. So here we are, you've got it selected. You can start doing your editing of your code right here. Your code uh, process here is, it's just like working in Visual Studio for the most part. So you've got things like uh, input, you got here. So we're seeing I've got full IntelliSense support, uh, compilation on the fly. You can see on the fly error messages and hints going on right here. So you can see the error message that's coming. Uh, once I got my code back into a compilable state and go ahead and save it, it will automatically see right here, compile and reload assets. Now I know what a number of you are saying, probably a far too many of you are saying, it's like, oh my God, that's not dark mode. Don't worry. There are a ton of options in this regard too. Come up here to your little gear. First off, if you want to go back to opening it in Visual Studio instead of having it uh, be a window directly inside of um, uh, Unity, you can do so. You can switch it here, and this will cause you to open back up in the IDE. Uh, you've also got the option for how double-click is going to work. And then here, you can see we can turn line numbers off on the side. Over here, we can change the font that we're using, so we can go to various different fonts that are built in, uh, like so. And then we can come over here and, of course, change to various different themes. And there are a fair number of themes built in here, including Visual Studio's dark mode, Xcode's equivalent, uh, the Monokai, Mon Monokai, I don't know, Monokai, uh, one that's built in. That's a really popular one out there. And then you've got a number of different settings here for supporting how uh, text editing is going to work. You get full Unity integration, so it will automatically create the, the magic methods needed for you to work with Unity. At the same time, you'll notice a here we have this drop down here for all of that so i've got see here an update uh and get base input i've got various different variables available here this will actually allow me to jump between so you see there jumping to a variable or i can jump straight to a function definition like so so basically it is a full blown ide um, or code editor that runs directly inside of the unity game engine it does the code compilation for you it does the error handling for you uh, it basically makes it so you don't need to use visual studio or mono develop or whatever kind of ide you're using visual studio code etc everything is here now the key thing is it is right inside of unity and i really kind of in if i'm working on a large scale project chances are i'll do all of my coding in a dedicated IDE, but if I'm just doing a simple script change, I would rather edit it directly inside of Unity. So I can actually see in this case where I could I could use this for doing quick script edits and then do you know the structural stuff for my game off in an IDE. But I can also quickly see myself just working entirely directly inside of the Unity game engine. And if I'm honest, it kind of boggles my mind that there isn't a code editor built directly inside of Unity. If you can do GD script development directly inside of Go, of Godot, uh, you could do um, 
scripting uh, via blueprints directly inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, Lumberyard has a script engine built directly into it and a Lua editor built into it. You know, so a lot of those things like Unreal and Lumberyard or CryEngine or whatever, you're still going to want to use an IDE for C++ code or whatever. But for doing your scripting, every single game engine, for the most part that I can think of, has some kind of a code editor built directly into its tool, except Unity. And it seems like a huge, massive, stupid oversight now that I've used Script Inspector 3. I can't go back. This is functionality that, quite simply, should be built into Unity. Unfortunately, it is not, but it is easy to rectify. And the cool thing here is it is also currently part of this bundle. So if you're interested, uh, Script Inspector 3 has, you know, all of the stuff you would expect. Auto closing, auto indentation, uh, automatic code completion, IntelliSense, uh, Code snippets are in there, uh, so on and so forth. Pretty much everything that you would probably expect out of a code editor is actually in there. Um, MSDN references for .NET symbols, uh, find all references, uh, Unity scripting references built in there, error highlighting, syntax highlighting, multiple different themes and, and fonts and so on that you're working with. This is kind of one of those things, I hate to say it's a must buy, but it really should be built into Unity. It kind of boggles my mind that it isn't. So anyways, if you are interested, unfortunately, it is in the highest tier of this bundle. It's at the $36 tier. Uh, but if if you're looking to add code editing abilities directly into Unity, what you can think of this as, you get that, and then you get things like the water system we saw in action here. Um, and then there's some other really kind of cool stuff in here. Let me know if you're interested. What I might do is one more video about all of the roadish stuff, if you guys are interested, because there's easy roads here, vehicle physics, tune racing, uh, maybe volumetric clouds and so on. Um, this audio library over here, a UI building library, a uh, pooling of resource tool over here. I can kind of put all of those together to do like a, a quickie car kind of game. So if you're interested in that before this runs out, let me know about that in the comments down below. Uh, but if you just look at it straight out, this asset is something that should straight out be in Unity. And if you're looking to add something like that, you can think of it as getting all the rest of the stuff for free. And when you look at it that way, what is a somewhat, if I'm honest, underwhelming bundle uh, becomes a heck of a lot better. So if you're looking like what you saw here today, you can basically get Script Inspector 3 for five bucks or four dollars off and then everything else you're seeing here you're just getting it as a freebie all right so that is it that is the unity asset store bundle and before i end what's wrong with this guy does the guy just really want his name at the top oh i guess you know it's a website maybe that is effective advertising i just pointed out macaca.org to you guys so maybe that was a well spent 333 dollars who knows uh, so anyways that is uh the bundle still running for about 16 more days and what we looked at today was script inspector 3 a little bit of sui mono uh I, that's actually a japanese word so i'm probably saying it brutally wrong and then some of the assets we saw in action here were the top down assets and one last time with feeling here we are in the world i'm not sure why i broke my lighting there but you can see what some of the top down assets are and then my water, let's go back over to the game, hopefully. There we go. So you can see the water in the background there. I'll run this. We should now have a mouse control script. I guess I added that in and never showcased it. So here is our world. And... Oh, my script's currently broken. Okay, just a second. Fly can... Oh, I never added it. Oh, I'm a dumb butt. No, okay, so let's actually add it to our camera. Can't add script flag control because script class cannot be found. Did I not call it the same thing it's named? What are you called? Fly camera. What do I call it? Fly control. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. By the way, scripts, you, you probably know this already, but uh, they have to match their class name. So like so. And now let's actually save that. So you see here, compiling, rebuilding, and everything else. So this is nice. Normally what I would have had to have done is gone out into uh, Visual Studio and made those edits and, and just made my life generally miserable time. Here, small quick edit directly inside of the IDE. Let's go ahead and now run our script. There you go. So now we can look around. There you can see some of the water in action. Uh, we can see here the top-down assets we added. One of the cool things about the water, by the way, is if you go into the water... See, we're in the water, and as we come out of it, we get a water drip effect on our camera. So that Suimon water is actually pretty cool, too. And those assets are pretty well done. But again, I am fully here for the script inspector. Any, any editing you want to do, uh, just basically double-click, and you can edit it directly in the browser, including right here inside of the... Um, 
Inspector with full code completion. I love that. And this is one of those things I'm going to be installing every single time I use a Unity project of any size where I need to do some code editing. So I uh, definitely felt like sharing this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this bundle. Do you find the whole bundle on the whole a little bit underwhelming on the whole? Uh, but what did you think of Script Inspector today? And a little bit less about what did you think of Suimano and the top-down asset packs because that's what I featured today. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.